Good morning, everyone. I'm Carol with Free Spirit Arts. Good morning, good morning. So I'm working, I think this is video four on the seamstress's diary. I, let me show you where I'm up to so far. Stuck it way over here. I'm leaving this, it's not attached, but I, I just wanna leave it as though it were attached so I can kind of get used to it and see if I like it. Um, the signatures are um, distressed. Uh, I have some stenciling. I've tried to match them so they all have a digi. They all have one of the um, home book and treasures and they all have um, the same amount of signature or pages and they you know they so that they're they're similar I can already see there's a couple I need to change I think this should be in the middle and it might oh maybe not yeah okay did a little bit of stenciling I don't know if I showed that last time and some of that could be covered up I am having a little bit of concern when I put these flush against the back, which in theory, that's where they'll be. They come right to the edge, which could be fine, except I know this book is going to have a lot of tabs. So I may take those pages down, you know, half inch. I'm gonna have tabs here and tabs here and probably dangles too. So I'm hoping that she's gonna be quite ornate. Oh, I see a boo-boo here. Okay. Yeah, we'll need to fix that. This is probably, I don't know, it doesn't really matter because once this gets on it, it's not gonna matter, but I'll probably put something on that. Okay, so that's what she's looking like so far. I know you all are dying to know because I ran up to my room this morning in my pajamas with without, I think I had had a sip of coffee is all. Here is the fabric paper or paper fabric. I'm not impressed. Um... Not that it's not a good idea. I think it's a great idea. It's how I implemented it. I don't, I think, one, it was too, it's too thick. Um, two, I used, I think I used the wrong colors to get what I was after. I could definitely see this as a cover. I mean, wouldn't that be sweet? It's definitely durable and everything and I'd want to lace it up and and such and you know I could use this in a another sewing journal but it's not what I was going for for this what I was going for is I wanted f a fabric page I wanted to make a fabric page for each signature and I thought if I glued paper to fabric, I would get that floppy, hefty um, kind of feel, and that is not what this is. However, uh, when I watched Gail, she was using them for covers, and I totally understand why. I mean, this is, you know, super durable. I would not have used the pink polka dot paper underneath, only because this is so light, and I think if I were to do this again, which I probably will, I would use thicker paper. Um, and I've already thought about maybe trying this one more time on a little swatch with this fabric and just putting one layer of napkin and not so much glue. And maybe I would get that floppy feel that I'm after. But see, this is, it's, definitely cover material. I thought this had bubbled up. That's not what it is. This is actually that lace napkin coming through. 
And this is the dark with the light of the lace. So it didn't bubble. It's bumpy, but all those bumpy areas are glued down. So I would recommend you try it. Um, go to somebody who's had good success with it. I would call this success. I mean, I glued paper to fabric, and I definitely have something I could use for a cover. I just don't care for the way I executed this particular one for the project I'm after. So I'll use that in another project. Today, what I really want to do, a couple different things. I want to use this rice paper. And I, you know what, I, have I used rice paper before? I think I have. I've gotten rice paper. Uh, you know, I th I'll bet I have, but it's not something I do a lot. I've got to get some motion on my hands, guys. Melody, I watched you this morning. You had quite the party last night. I am going to do a hand for your third year on YouTube. Woohoo, girl! That's great. You know, it's weird. I, I know I've been on YouTube more than a year because I started my channel before I moved. And I'm coming up on my one year anniversary for moving. But I can't see any videos that are over a year old. Weird. Isn't that weird? Now, because the book is smaller, I want to cut this down. So, hmm. I want this to be really rustic. And I am just trashing this. I need to clean this. This is what happens when you gesso or glue and then you put it on your deco trimmer. And I do it all the time. And I do it with my Fisker's cutter too. And I don't recommend it. I mean, ultimately, you're ruining the blade. And it's, I should not do that. If I look down the blade, I can see little bits of glue. Okay, so let's see. The book is like, or the pages are 7 by 10. You know, they're 10 across. I don't need it that big. I kind of like this portion of it because it's going to be like that. So let's see. This is this 8, 1, 2, 3. Eight. So I'd only have to cut. Okay. Hmm. It's going to be folded. So hold on. It's going to be folded. So it'll still be eight wide. So it'll still be too big. So I need to cut at least an inch. Okay, yeah. Sometimes that gets me messed up. Does that happen to you all? This isn't gonna work. It's not, doesn't have enough floor space. Oh, darn it. I really don't wanna lose that. Now this paper is from that 99 cent digi that I s told you guys about. Run, don't walk over there and get it. It's um, home, something, something, home book and treasures, I think. But is that what I said before? Shoot, I hope that's what it is. Okay, I'm gonna cut this off for something else. And then I'm gonna cut I 
I don't want it to stick out the top. I just, okay, there's two, that's six. Ooh, that's seven. Hmm. I gotta chop a little off. Okay. Okay, now. Let's. I think I'll deco the edges still. Can you hear our, I believe we've decided they're pinion jays. I'm not a bird aficionado <laughs> by any stretch, but we do have bird books by all the windows because we have so many birds and we're feeding a lot of birds. And um, I think these big birds that steal all the food are called pinion jays. And our house is right in the middle of pinion pine, so, which I, we call them cedars, but I think they're the, the member of the pinion family. So now you know everything I know about trees. Anyway, they have a nice, the birds have a nice crawl. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven and a half by, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I, you know, I think, I think that'll work. So let's see, do I want this? Oh, I get both, of, I get the best of both worlds. That's awesome. Is that what I wanna do? Or do I wanna kinda do this? Mm -hmm. I sure do like that. Cutting it down, I'm going to get to... Uh, oh, I could do that. Hmm. I'm going to make... I'm going to start this envelope. I'm going to first ink it. So I inked, I distressed all those pages. Ugh. It was a lot of work. But I know it's boring to watch. One page is one thing, but both sides of, what is it? Eight, 24 pages, so 50 pages plus the spine. I'm going to leave those little these. They'll fall off eventually, but over at Melanie Made, she is doing a three-year birthday party and if I understand the acronyms correctly um, in order to enter for her giveaway you need to make a hand and she has she'll show you on her channel and uh, a boho hand the ones that are coming in are so fantastic and then an ATC, which my understanding is an altered trading card. And she has the dimensions there on her channel. And do a video recording where you, you uh, how do you, you tag her channel, I think. Um, what else, Melody? Oh, this morning, I or last night, she had a little party, and um, she said you need to be, your subscriptions need to be visible, or you need to be visible. I, I don't know what that means. <laughs> so, not sh I, I tried to find my, yeah, I think that's what I'll do right there. Okay. I tried to find the spot. She shows you how. 
I'm thinking it's because I was doing it on my iPad. So I'm thinking that if I, let's see, if I do it on the lap, my um, laptop windows or my desktop or something that it'll probably, I'll be able to find a spot where you can turn on your visibility so you're not invisible. Because I think I remember when I opened my channel that, oops, that that was an option. I'm deliberately doing this by hand because I want it to be rough. Okay, and that is going to make beautiful ephemera. So I'm having a ball with this journal. I mean, seriously, I'm having so much fun. I don't think I can tear that and do it justice. So. Ooh, yeah. I have quite a bit, I think, of rice paper. I ordered some, and then it comes in kits. Usually they'll give you a piece of rice, something or other. I have some in the Imagine, and I have some... I think Tim Holtz or something. I don't know. I'm going to save those for trim. dear friend of mine her husband has COVID right now and I don't know if she does or not she's got some symptoms but they're both uh, well vaccinated and they have their booster too so they're faring very well actually so okay so it's gonna go like that the envelope is so I want it to go like this something like that I think we could take even more. Yeah, that'll be fine. I've had a couple ideas. I thought about, well, let's get the envelope started. So I want it to go something like that. I hope I've left myself enough depth. It just doesn't look like an envelope. It's got to be, it's got to be bigger. That would work, wouldn't it? And I could just trim. I'd lose that. Hmm. 
Hmm. Let's try that. Let's let's just I can print this again. Let's just let's just do this. Except let's rough this edge a bit. I'm going to cut this off. Right there. That's okay. Not perfect, but it's okay. Just trying to do the very, very edge. husband Rand and Aaron so I don't even have my door shut because he's got the dog oh, y'all I'm on a Frenchie so bad One of the other things, I know there's people around here who have Frenchies, so I know it's possible. And uh, my daughter brings her little dogs, and they are tiny and have very little hair because they live their lives in California. So they keep them. With uh, very little hair, sorry. I heard a noise and it shouldn't have been my husband yet. Okay, so I'm thinking, I'm actually thinking of doing it this way. Oh, 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 darn it. Anyway, uh, one of my concerns is the cold. And I know there are some people who litter box train their little dogs. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm totally not on board with that. Yeah, that, that's not gonna happen. I don't have a cat for that, you know, I don't, I don't want a litter box in the house. I know it can be done, and I know that a litter box can be clean, and, you know, I have nothing at, at all against cats, but I just, it's just not anything I want to deal with. I want a dog that will go potty outside. Okay, now we're probably going to have to re-glue. Where's my top? Yeah. Let's re-glue. I actually like that look of when the Distress Ink is smeared by glue. I think that's a cool, kind of a cool effect. Okay, we got the little spool of thread. I really like that. Okay. This might, uh, this might be just what I wanted that I didn't know I wanted. Yeah, okay. Oh, <laughs> that's not even close to straight. I mean, not even by my math is that even close to straight. Oh, shoot. Yikes, I haven't had enough coffee, I guess. Okay. Nope, 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 nope. Shoot. Oh, my land. Wow. If 
that's not straight, I'm just going to fix this to be straight because it'll be ruined if I don't. about a pocket the hard way. Not the envelope I had in mind at all. Okay, let's distress this. This is an old vintage photo that I actually ruined um, by not using a different blender tool on different inks and so and I, I've used it and used it used it used it up but um, I just add a little water when I'm doing really heavy distressing instead of using my new pad I use this and I, I like it I kind of like the idea of this envelope, this style of envelope, a little better maybe because, yeah, but you know what, I'm, I'm kind of thinking of maybe putting paper in here, you know, and folding it like that, and then you would unfold it, and this would flip up, and there would be paper. Hmm. Not at all what I was going to make. <laughs> at all. I wanted to make an envelope with something in it. But, kind of like this idea better. I said this in the beginning this book is going to be for sale so if you are interested just send me a message or post it in the comments and I'll reach out to you you could email me my email is uh, L I T T L E C A R Y L six five at Gmail dot com. This is bordering shabby chic, and I, I'm not after that, but. Okay, so now, because this is like it is, oh yeah, this is gonna be cool. Whoa, I'm gonna sew it really quick, guys. Hmm, I wonder how that's gonna be, because I've got pink and blue in here. I'm not changing it. That's not going to happen. No. Uh, L to the no. Oh, it's not bad.
fall in Idaho is stunning. It's so pretty, so much color, and I mean, we we just uh, summer and fall. It's just gorgeous. I mean, if you're into winter, winter's great here too, but. Fall is just, it's perfect weather, I think. It's cold in the morning. I mean, you really don't want to go out without clothes on and a jacket or your robe and fuzzy slippers or something. Did a little crazy stitching. Now I'm going to do this top part. I think I'll do a zigzag. Maybe. If I can remember how. My sewing machine is a Brother XS2080. I've been asked before. Easiest sewing machine. I, I don't know. I mean, I'm sure there's some out there that are even more simple. But this one, um, it was super, super easy self-starting to get going. And I've kind of grown a little bit as far as my sewing skills now so I'm asking more of my sewing machine and this machine is great for that because like I can do zigzag or I can whatever and it's got a uh, self threading needle so it takes just seconds and so if you're doing videos and you by chance break a thread you know, it wouldn't take me very long I don't think to replace the thread. Almost done, guys. I hate to sew off camera, but if I don't, this is a sewing journal, so, you know, there's going to be things in here. I'm going to try to do it off camera, but I didn't know this one was coming. Okay, I'm going to leave those strings. Where's my doodah? Okay, so do I want to... I could So I could glue this down and put paper on it. I could not glue it down and put paper under it and use like my tiny attacher or something. Let's see. Let's see what it calls for. I think it needs a closure. Faux show. Sure. Hmm, this is not what I had planned to do today. I'm going to glue it down. Ooh, you know what? <laughs> no, Carol. What? I'm going to use my my homemade stain glue that's what I have a video on this if you're interested just let me know and I'll put the link Patricia Veramontes is where I got the idea for colored glue. I bought some of her Patty Pocket stuff on Etsy. And this, mine's not like hers. Uh, well, I guess it is. It's colored glue. So in that respect, it is like hers. But um, I've used hers. When you're looking at distressing like a whole thing, like a whole page or something, or... Well, I don't know. You don't have to do it like that. You could use it for whatever. It's great. It's awesome. Dries fast, so I'm trying to hurry, and I don't want the strings to get in there. This will definitely make a difference as far as uh, the paper being more durable. 
So I'm thinking right now what I'm thinking is I'll use that rice paper as a liner, which is what I was going to do originally, but got a little sidetracked. Okay, so we'll just do this. Mm. This is water base, so I'm not sure about how it's going to do on rice paper. I love the little tears. It's my favorite part. I love the way rice paper, the fibers, they fray like fabric. Oh, maybe that's what I should do for the fabric that I want. Oh my gosh. That's a great idea. I think I'll do that. I don't know how much rice paper I have. I'll have to, I might have to get some, order a piece order this piece again because I don't have enough now. Yeah, that's that's awesome. Okay. Thick. It's sticky. Okay. Okay, this is going to be cool. Um, I do want something right here. So, let's, I'm starting to get all piled up and then you know how I feel about that. Y'all know how I feel about that. Okay, what about something? Well, there you go. That'll work great. If it's just the right width, though, it might not be the right width. Can you see what I'm doing? Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. Okay, let's just, let's do something like this. I don't want shabby chic. I, oh well, I didn't think I did, but I'm really, really close, huh? But I don't want it to be a shabby chic journal. I want it to be a sewing journal. I want it to be, oh. This is sewn in, that's sewn in, da 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 da. Okay. So I'll put that lace right here. I'm thinking of wrapping it around. You know what? I'm honestly thinking maybe I should do this the other way and make this the pretty side. What do you think of that? I think it needs to dry before I mess it up. Okay, we're going to set that there and we're going to put that lace right there. Okay. And this is, gosh, what do you think the chances are that I could turn that into fabric? I have, I watched Mrs. Coggs and I love the ties that she has and I'm thinking I'm gonna use this fabric. This is my mother's tablecloth, so Growing up, um, we didn't have much, honestly. But as things got better in life, uh, my mother got a dining room table. Mm -hmm. And that was a big deal in our family. And it was a big, dark wood tablecloth or table, and uh, it had a leaf in it, which we all thought was so cool. and. I think it had like six big chairs with arms and it was a beautiful piece of furniture and one of the very first things I ever remember her getting and um, 
she never uncovered it. It always had a tablecloth on it. I know why now. <laughs> but this was one of the tablecloths, but it's so old and it's got coffee stains on it and stuff. So I don't use it as a tablecloth, but I brought it upstairs so that I could repurpose it. So I was watching Mrs. Coggs and I love the tass the ties that she has on a lot of her journals. And I saw one of them and I thought, ooh, that looks just like my tablecloth fabric. I love the hand, oh gosh, the hand that this has. It has weight to it and substance to it. And I can dye it any color I want. I'm gonna try this. I'm terrible, I can't tear anything. like that edge. So, let's change it. Well, guys, I hope this is enjoyable. This is not the video I had planned. I thought I was going to make a rice paper envelope and um, some ephemera. I guess I'm doing part of that, huh? I just don't want that, that cut edge. This is just a old pin that I can't use it in my glue so I keep a few of them over there stacked in my little my little lazy Susan Happens to rice paper when you sew it. I think we're going to find out. I don't know how much of this I want to take off yet, so I'm not going to do it. Okay, so. Oh, look at that, y'all. Oh, that would be gorgeous in the book. I'm going to do it. What is it? What have I got to lose? What could? What's the worst that could happen? Do I want to change these edges? I think I do. I hate wasting the rice paper, but you can actually get rice paper on Amazon relatively inexpensive. It means not the price of gold by me, any means, but I mean, if you're just looking for something with for a special project like this. Let me order some. I'm trying not to rush this journal because I'm having so much fun. Can you see what I'm doing? So do any of you have Frenchies? What do you, talk me out of this. I have two dogs. 
My husband's just going, oh no, oh no. <laughs> I mean, we're dog people, we love dogs. We love animals, we've had all kinds of animals over the years, but. So I know if we did get another dog, it would have a great life no matter what it is, but. Do I wanna to try to distress this? I think I'm gonna try it. Might be on to something. Tammy made a, what was that called, Tammy? Was that a master board? Where you cut the circles and, oh my gosh, put some fall ephemera. And now I can't remember what all you put on there. But it was orange and brown and just gorgeous. And some stamping. And then took her label stamps and stamped those on there all over the place, kind of random. And then she cut these big giant circles and stuff. Oh, I loved it. I don't have any label stamps. I want some. Oh, you guys. <laughs> this is exactly what I wanted when I made, let's see how it turns out though. I might be, oh, Carol, don't do that. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Let's do this. Hmm. I wonder if I should, I think I will. Nah, no. I was gonna go get some sprays. But I don't think I will. I think we're on the right track right now. But see how white that is? I don't like that. I feel like I need to paint it. Let's let's try the glue. Okay, we're going for it. There's no turning back. Hope this is all right, Mom. <laughs> Since we moved from our farm, we had, of course, every animal that, you know, a farm has. And so we had all the stuff for that, you know, we had Tons of tack for the horses and all the feeders for winter that were electric and all the, you know, tractors and stuff, you know, that you have when you take care of livestock. And then we had my husband built motorcycles and he loves motorcycles and so we had all of that. Plus we grew our own hay. so. We had all of that, and then, you know, I am ai was a shepherdess, so, oh, see, that's what I love. See how the glue just smears it? Love it. So I had all of that, you know. Well, we had some stuff now, <laughs> and we we were moving in town with no, no more farm. So we had to downsize. I mean, there was just no way around it. And I was, at the time, I had been making soap and my flock was getting bigger and bigger. And let me shut the door. It sounds like my husband's home, I'll shut the door. Hi, I'm videoing, bye. I'm making a video. And so anyway, we had a huge barn, two story, like you see in the, you know, in pictures. And then we had, he had a, a garage shop thing for his motorcycle stuff. And then we had, there was an old coal barn and 
and um, I don't think I think that's good I think that's good so when we started thinking about where we're gonna move you know we had to reckon with all the stuff that all that's and then there was a little house on the property that had tons of stuff in it some of which the former owner had left cheers Mm. So, we had some stuff. This is what I wanted. Yeah, we'll see how it dries. Let's see how it dries. Oh, y'all, look at that. What I was after was, like, when you see handmade paper or scrolls or something, that's what I was after. Now I can stitch on this. Oh, guys. But I'm going to let it dry. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see if it turns out like I want. So anyway, um, I at first had a very hard time with the idea of letting some of my stuff go. But we sold the horses, we sold our horse trailer. Why would I want to keep tack? So I donated that to a family I had 4-H kids and we just, you know, we started downsizing and you know after a minute it felt pretty good. So, all of that to say, I do like getting rid of things now. I didn't used to, but I do now. I like this. Oh, I could maybe put that on the thing I just made, maybe. Hmm. I sure wish they wouldn't have I wish they would have done, I don't know. I wish it was different. I thought, I saved these buttons, the little paper buttons, because I thought I would, in the center of each signature, when I tie it, I'll use the ties and make um, dangles, you know, for inside the book. So, that, maybe that is all I wanted to do for this video. Y'all, we have the best grapes in the grocery store right now. Random, huh? But they're sitting right next to me. Come on over, you can have one. So I stamped this and I don't know if I love it. I'm not going to throw it away, but I think maybe I don't care for the co this color. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if it finds a home. Well, I can't think of anything that I don't have to dig out a bunch of stuff for, so I think I'm going to call this a video. And is this dry? Let's just see. Just for giggles. No, I can see it's so not dry. Hmm, no. See, it would be really pretty to go like that. <laughs> so I might do that. Love this, y'all. Highly recommend. Do this. It's great. All right, guys, I'm not going to keep you. I don't have anything interesting that I can pull out right this second. So I may do a video, another video later on today when I, I'm going to clean up because that cleans up my brain too. And I'll let you know how that fabric turned out. I might make another one if I can find some rice paper. Thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Let's all take care of each other. Bye-bye.